Corex version 2.15 is finally here and now even the console players have engine swaps and different differentials which is the most important thing of this update. So in today's video I will be showing you the differences between all the differential types we can choose for our car. First I will use my favorite car the R35 with my usual tune you can find up there in the right I'll just put a link to it. I'll use the same tune as before we can find different differentials in our transmission tab. We have open, we have spool, we have vicious limited slip differential and clutch based limited slip differential. What each one of these are? The open differential, basically we have open differential, so uh, each tire is spinning differently. Basically we'll get the most grip out of it. Spool, this is a full closed differential the back tires will spin at the same time. The vicious limited slip, uh, this is something like customizable differential. Basically with this setting you can adjust the level of uh, open and close differential. And the clutch based, you have a lot more settings. We will go through them in a second. So let's jump for a quick test with the open differential because uh, you know it's the first one uh, yeah as you can see just adding a little throttle you can see a tire slip just from my rear right tire uh, so it's limiting the throttle amount and the tire it's basically like traction control I mean, you can say it like traction control. The car really wants to understeer. The car is really grippy. It's really hard to keep angle with the open differential. You can see my car is like going left, right. It's it isn't that smooth. Uh, let's just quickly change to spool. This should be our full closed differential. As you can see, I have tire slips from both tires. Uh, what this gives us is less grip which is really nice for drifting. The car is really slippery so you gotta be really careful with oversteer but you can see we have really good angle. I can say nice speed and it's perfect for quick tunes. Just, uh, just make a tune and just start drifting smoothly. If you go too crazy with the angle, you will oversteer, which can be prevented by the next differential, which is basically between open and closed. We just have this uh, differential locking ratio. Uh, if we put it to zero, basically we have open differential. Uh, let's just test it out. And yeah, as you can see, it is like open differential. Feels the same as the open one even I think this is grippier than the other one because if I release the throttle my car loses the drift uh, and if I put it to 100 basically we have closed differential even though the car feels a little bit smoother than the spool differential. So yeah, that's the difference. I would recommend for uh, using this differential as I would probably do in my tunes. This is almost like before update. Just put it to like 85 for me. This is the best setting. Um, you have perfect speed, perfect angle. The car is really smooth. So the 4.1 is clutch based limited and we have even more settings. What I will do is I will test the default one. So let's try it. Um, feels really grippy. That's first what I can say about it. Really, really grippy. The power lock and coast lock work like Ackerman and if you put it to 100, they're basically turned off. So to show what preload is, I put it to zero 
so we can try it and put the other on 100 so they're actually stopped uh, what we have now with the uh, first setting to zero it's like closed differential like this I mean I feel it like closed differential it's really smooth as well but um, let's let's put it to max so you can see the difference of the preload what this makes uh, all right this makes the car grippy and basically this is my recommendation for competing in competitions and tournaments like you can see the car is insanely fast it's so smooth as well but maybe the only issue is that the car is really fast so I don't recommend this for uh, just a normal everyday tandems another cool feature I found about the last differential is if you hold clutch the drift stops automatically and immediately super smooth like I'll transition again and I'll hold it I mean you can see how smooth this is so you can just uh, move from drifting to normal just hold gas and boom we can we can drift again sorry for the luck there um, yeah I'll try it again without the luck so hold it while we don't drift hold gas and boom we're back to drifting that's really fun to do uh, let's just try the other settings uh, the power lock uh, let's put this to 250 or just to zero so it's turned off uh, let's try the power lock just put it to zero and test it out what this makes is it makes the car really under steering I mean look at the angle I almost don't have angle really hard to do a nice 360 I I, I wanted to go to the right there but didn't work that well uh, yeah with this we don't have angle the transitions are hard and everything is basically hard the car is under steering like crazy uh, alright let's check the other setting which is the coast lock let's put this back to 100 and this to zero so yeah what this makes is the clutch actually uh, I mean the third setting actually help you uh, transition it's really easy to keep the angle and the line as you can see I'm just holding the same speed the same angle super easy what I want to try is preload to max coast lock to zero power lock to 100 I mean power lock I recommend putting it on 100 all the time all right let's see what this is yeah the car is really smooth it is really really smooth the transitions are a bit weirder uh, the car feels even more grippy you can see the speed it's it's crazy I'm on 90s now you can always just uh, find your perfect fit because this is what I am going to do after the video just find the perfect balance of the settings and yeah I cannot say which is my favorite differential I will definitely use the clutch based uh, limited slip for competitions and probably for just chill drifting I will use the uh, vicious limited with 85 I feel it's like the best uh, setting for me uh, yeah if you have any questions just ask them in the comments join the discord server it's in the description of the video and yeah and see you in the next one